Hello, my name is Gregor Muir. I'm the Executive Director of the ICA. I've been um, working on this magnificent project um, at uh, the ICA on the MAL, uh, the displays of an exhibit and man, machine and motion. What really came to light in making this show was the need to really sort of review this period of the ICA's past uh, and, and especially uh, the time that it was at Dover Street. Uh, not many people know uh, uh, anymore that the ICA was once based at 17 to 18 Dover Street. It was based on the first floor of what is now Dover Street Market. We thought what we might do is, is blitz the whole space with images of uh, uh, the ICA from the time that it occupied that building. The ICA was in Dover Street for 18 years, uh, and in that period, it, it launched pop art, op art, brutalist architecture. It's where the independent group regularly met. Uh, it's where Francis Bacon once had his uh, first ever solo institutional show. And uh, it's also where an exhibit and man, machine and motion were first shown. Here you see an exhibit uh, in the original Dover Street Gallery from 1955 and you'll see the original ICA reception desk uh, being manned by this lady here. You would have entered through this door here, just by her. What's interesting is that the main gallery is flanked by a wall of windows uh, looking out onto Dover Street. And it's interesting to see how many of the shows at the ICA, held during the 50s especially, uh, are uh, shows which uh, engage structures and modular systems in the middle of the room. And my guess is this was to deal with the awkwardness of having one long wall really essentially being uh, a wall of windows. And so the idea of occupying the central space is a very interesting one because it's a difficult townhouse. There are four parts to this story as it stands at the moment. The first is, of course, the Tate Modern Retrospective. The ICA show on the Mall of Richard Hamilton's is also connected to Tate, but we've connected the ICA show at the Mall to the ICA uh, show at Dover Street Market. And the fourth point in all of this is the ICA book. The book uh, is really an extraordinarily detailed document of that era. It takes you from 48 to 68, and in that you sense uh, actually the very real sort of uh, excitement uh, that the ICA must have experienced when it came to Dover Street. It is really in this building that you do see some of the, the, the most important exhibitions ever held in the history of post-war British contemporary art.